you know, when you see what's going on out in the countries affected in West Africa, it's really, really tragic. And to think that a vaccine can reduce the number of people dying, they need to get this vaccine and, and to help, that is incredible. I was the first person in the UK to have the Ebola vaccine in September. Ebola virus was discovered back in the 1970s as an outbreak pathogen that causes usually fairly small outbreaks in Central Africa. What's different this year is there's been a huge outbreak in West Africa with thousands and thousands of deaths. And in the intervening years, nobody had developed a vaccine against Ebola, so we were ill-prepared for this outbreak. Now there are two vaccines that had been researched and made as part of biodefense work in the United States that are being accelerated through clinical trials to see if we can start using these vaccines to help control the outbreak. One of those is being tested here at the University of Oxford and we've actually completed vaccinations. We were probably the first people to start testing a vaccine that's going to be used to try and control the outbreak. Professor Hill was very persuasive on his radio interview and also um, said they'd got the vaccine to a stage where they needed to test it on humans and said yes there may be some slight risks and he said at the time on the interview it could be like a, a flu-like symptoms and I think the biggest reassurance was our, the trial team gave me a 24-hour telephone number so I knew I could call it at any time and seek medical help if it was, if it was needed but I didn't need to use it. We started in the middle of August and by the middle of September we were vaccinating our first volunteer. By November we'd vaccinated everybody, all 60 in the trial, and we now today are reporting the first safety results, and the safety results look very good, and also very importantly the immunogenicity or immune response data that we've obtained in this trial. And what they show is that the vaccine looks safe, at least in the 60 people we've vaccinated so far, and pretty well everybody responds to the vaccine, which is of course good news. I've had no side effects at all. If any, I had a slight head cold, but that could have been nothing to do with the trial vaccine. The other question we asked was what are the immune responses that the vaccine produces like? Are they going to be strong enough to actually protect people against Ebola? The next step for this vaccine is a very important one. It will move from trials here in the UK onto very large scale trials in West Africa. The details are still being finalized, but it looks now as if there'll be a trial in at least 10,000 people in Liberia over the next few weeks, comparing this vaccine to people who were not vaccinated or given an irrelevant vaccine. And that trial will probably run for several months to see how well the vaccine protects against Ebola we were able to get the trial started and find the 60 volunteers we needed in record time. We are hugely grateful to those people who took time out of their very busy lives to come seven, eight, nine times to be seen in this vaccine trial. And without them, of course, this would not have been possible. I feel if I'm playing a small part in getting this vaccine to a place where they can actually use it out in the countries affected in West Africa, then I think that's so, so important.